Hello VFX people, I'm AK and this is Blue Ninja and this time on a clumsy way I'm trying to explain how I did this cloudscape thing. You might have noticed that we always put our flip books on camera facing planes, which is pretty boring. But here's this uh, classic technique called parallax occlusion mapping. And with the help of this technique, we are able to use the luminance information in the in the fluid books to push the pixels into 3D, get some shading. And I'm releasing this Unreal project uh, um, on Dropbox or on G Drive, so you could download it and use the materials and all the stuff included. So in case if you would like to do some simulation and add some depth. Uh, you might be able to use this scene. But anyway, let's get through uh, all of these. Okay, first I'm starting the Ninja Tools level. And Ninja. Okay, so we would like to do a swirling cloudscape and we need something to start with. So I'm just painting some initial input randomly on the canvas. I'm setting up the velocity field to rotate, lowering the intensity a little bit, and I'm exporting this uh, velocity field that you could see in the lower right corner as a vector field US set. I'm pressing this button, saving the file, and this vector field is going to drive my GPU particles. Uh, here I'm opening Cascade, uh, switching on the vector field view, and as you could see the swirling pattern is already here. And as I switch on my GPU particles, uh, they are obeying this force and starting to swirl around. So uh, let's speed them up a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. And this GPU flow is going to drive my fluid simulation as an input. So I'm just saving this uh, and switching back to the Ninja tools, starting Ninja again, and I'm loading this already created preset where we use this GPU swirl to drive the simulation. And I'm going to bake the simulation into 25 frames. Here we go. And I'm saving it as a US set and saving the materials as well. And so this is going to be a density map and the height map for the parallax occlusion mapping. I'm exiting Ninja once again. And so I'm loading in another level. Uh, this level is already prepared um, to demonstrate that we have this GPU particle flow. Here is the, uh, the simulated flow baked into Flipbook and played by the Ninja Play material. And the thing is used uh, with a parallax occlusion mapping shader to give some depth. Here, uh, this version is already uh, transparent, so we could say it is masked, and this one has some shading on it. Uh, quickly demonstrating what this shader is able to do, I'm opening it up, and uh, you might notice that I'm able to set the lightning direction and once I press play, the material is picking up the flip frames and filtering them through this parallax occlusion mapping shader. And so we have this thing transparent and shaded and playing this simulated flipbook. And we're gonna place that into our scene. Um, Quickly uh, having a look at that material, which is again uh, downloadable using the built-in 
POM node from Unreal, extracting some extra normal and shadow information, mixing uh, the original density information with the generated shadows, and with the help of some emissive we are able to do a subsurface like effect to imitate like the light rays are somehow um, lighting up the shady parts of these clouds. Exiting the material, I'm loading in that level. And here we go. Um, as you could see, uh, oh yeah, let me just start playing. Um, we have this flipbook thing with the POM shader and the GPU particles added on top. Uh, I enabled light shafts, some volumetric lightning, and I enabled uh, shadow casting on these objects, uh, configured to move uh, randomly in the scene. And that's it really. It's not very complicated. But again, it helps to add some depth and uh, to do this uh, illusion that we are uh, somehow pushing uh, our uh, flip books uh, to look like they are 3D. Well, yeah, surely that's it. And thank you for your patience. You might want to download the project and use it for your own simulations. And see you next time.